2024 PGA Merchandise Show in Orlando, Florida. Here, Tom Purcell, Worldwide Golf, here with Travis Milliman with Ping Golf in the world of Ping. And we're going to see what's new and exciting in 2024. Take us through, give let's, us the tour. Let's start at the top. Yeah. yeah. So the new product for us in uh, the driver space for 2024 will be the G430 Max 10K. So mm -hmm. this is a complement to our existing lineups. So we have currently on the 430 line, we have the Max, the SFT, and the LST. The LST, yeah. Those aren't going anywhere. This is an addition to that line, and where we think this is going to fit to complement that line is just the story around total forgiveness. So, um, 10K, that is the measure of the total forgiveness of this club. Key technology is on 430, max 10K. Carbon fly wrap. So, this is our proprietary way to add composite uh, to the crown. So, it is, yeah. a, is a true wrap. So, it is on the crown, and then it wraps to the skirt on both sides. So, it is truly a wrap. What that does for us, in essence, is just save mass. It saves a few grams, five grams of mass from the crown. We took a fresh look at how do we want to get that mass as far away as possible. USGA has a few regulations on how big the driver can be. 460 cc's is the one everyone talks about. Right. The one they don't talk about is how big physically the profile can be. We push that out to the very extremes of the limit, which essentially just puts our mass, our back weight, our high density tungsten back weight, as far away as possible as we can possibly make it from the rest of the club. That drives our total MOI above 10,000. Combination wow. of those three things is what separates this from our other products. And this is gonna be a really good complement for a high launch, lower spinning trajectory compared to our current. If somebody hasn't upgraded their driver in the last, say, three to five years, who's the best customer for this? Who should be looking at this? Yeah. Masses? Uh, we think it could be for everyone. So, really? um, yeah. testimonials of our tour players. Cameron Champ was the first adopter of Ping. Think about Cameron Champ, yeah. one of the fastest players on the PGA Longest Tour. Longest hitters. Definitely. Longest hitters. He needs total forgiveness, right? Because when his misses happen, think about how far that ball can travel, right? It is a different speed than most people are accustomed to. It's great for that level. We'll see PD PGA Tour penetration with this product. Yeah. We also think it's going to be a great product based on the total forgiveness and how high it launches for someone who just needs help getting the ball in the air. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's truly um, going to be for the masses. So well, That just cracked a myth in my book because I thought this would be for the masses and here you're saying elite players can benefit from yeah. this too. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, it's, that's it's a testament to how we design what we do without sacrifice. So. Gotcha. Uh, let's talk about Blueprint T and Blueprint S. I think those are the two. Um, that people have been excited about. I'll talk about them together. So this is our new offering for the Blueprint replacements. So the Blueprint T is our tour inspired. That's a derivative of every work, all the work we do with our tour staff to give them a club that is uh, clean, minimal. It's our smallest blade, heel to toe, least amount of offset, truly an iron designed for tour. Sure. Hence the T, Blueprint yeah. T. The complement to the Blueprint T is the Blueprint S. So the Blueprint S, um, think about the S as an ode to our S-series irons of path. So S59, 58, 57, yeah. yep. goes on and on. Right. It's back. Blueprint S is Blueprint that category. S. So it's that mid-cavity player style iron, both forged, 8620 carbon steel, um, and intended very much to complement each other for its the vertical trajectory and total forgiveness of the club. Yeah, it's so, beautiful. Clean, yeah, real yeah, clean. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we're going to get into the distance irons, which is the yeah. counter to that argument, right? Sure, so yeah, yeah. Uh, I-530 is the first one of those. Um, this will be coming out later in the spring. I-530 is an iron um, very much geared around the player who wants to be playing Blueprint S visually, mm -hmm. but, but needs more help. But needs more distance. a little bit. Yeah. 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 Uh, so what goes into this product is um, the intent is trying to be uh, more metalwood-like in construction. We want everything about this product to have more deflection, create more ball speed, and we do that in a couple of different ways. I'll explain. So uh, our high-strength miraging steel face, we weld in the same steel material we use in our fairy woods and hybrids on our I-530. Wow. The, uh, the body material is the same as our fairy woods and hybrids. So we're doing everything we do on our metalwood design to create more ball speed packaged into this design. Um, we don't want to lose sight on what it looks like. I think that if the camera can see the premium machining detail in the back, yeah. I'm a mechanical engineer. <laughs> I value performance, and this is truly a functional feature. So our supplier will take each one of these heads, 3D scan, and machine to a very precise thickness that top area. We said, hey, while you're at it, can, you, can we make it look good, right? So uh, it's very much a performance-driven technology. We use that weight savings to drive CG lower. When we could drive CG lower, more in line with the average impact location, right. ball speed goes up too. So everything in this design is to cater towards more distance. Yeah, gotcha. Um, Complement to that in the line, 
will be the G730, also launching a little bit later this spring. Um, this is a really good complement for that player who needs total forgiveness. Uh, it is our longest ping iron to date. It is geared around how do we get the most forgiveness in the club. So it's, if you look at our landscape of size, Blueprint T was at one extreme. Uh, G730 is going to be the other extreme. So this is our largest blade length, widest sole, most offset, geared around trying to get total performance. Um, G730. We're in 730s G now. I remember G2. Yeah, we are. We are. <laughs> the future is here. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, so coupled out with our Pure Flex badge, we're trying to remove un unwanted vibration and impact. Um, so it's our ability to put a very nice, aesthetically pleasing design on there that has a very functional purpose for being there. Everything we do is about function first. So um, very excited about this club as well. Yeah. Can't get my eyes off these. Two. Yeah, let's talk let's, about them. So, these are beautiful. S159 is our latest wedge offering. This is going to take um, our previous Glide 4.0, Glide Forge Pro, mm -hmm. combine them together. This is the most comprehensive line we've had to date. Uh, we've added a couple new grinds. So when we're looking at designing our biggest line to date, trying to get the most um, consumer satisfaction around optionality, we decided to add two new grinds to our existing four. So we have okay. a B and the H grind, very much geared around the B grind is a bounce grind. Simple, we took a wider sole wedge, took bounce away. Yeah. The H grind is taking heel and toe relief, putting on heel and toe relief, so taking away material in the heel and toe. Might be hard to see, but it creates this nice little half crescent, half moon. Yeah. We call it the H grind for the half moon. Uh, it's a, it's a custom see. works offering. We offer to our tour players, and we decided to offer here as well. So um, two finishes on this line, the chrome and then the midnight are very durable QPQ finish. You last seen it, you've last seen it on our Glide 2 Stealth product. Mm -hmm. It's back. Um, so we have a myriad of lofts in both finishes, and I do want to state everything we do for righties, we do for lefties. Yeah. So you'll see all of these grinds and finishes available. Oh man. beautiful, absolutely yeah. gorgeous. Awesome. Yeah. Let's go to the flat stick. PLD. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, PLD. So um, Oh, what PLD stands for? PLD, Putter Lab Design. Right. So everything about the PLD is tour inspiration around the best players in the world and what they want in their product. Yeah. So uh, the story of PLD, it started actually a number of years ago. It wasn't called PLD. It was our tour putter program. So we had an engineer go out on tour, Tony Serrano, go out on tour and design putters for the best players in the world. We decided since to commercialize that work. So um, a lot of the models are focused around players we work with. So the five in our lineup for this year. The answer needs no introduction, right? All right. It's there. Grandfather. Grandfather, yeah. Answer 2D. That's a kind of a deeper answer to. That was designed with Tony Fina in mind. We designed it for Tony. Um, and seen he's seen a lot of success with that. The DS72. Everyone's seen that putter in recent yeah. times. You might not know what it's called. DS72 is Victor Hovland's putter. We designed that putter for Victor and have since uh, introduced that line and that shape into our PLD program. Uh, we have the Oslo 3 designed with Tyrrell Hatton in mind. Uh, and then the Alley Blue 4 is a new model for us as well in 2024. So top to bottom, it's all about precision, machining details, premium product focused around tour inspiration. Yeah. So when I think of ping, clubs and but I think of fitting. Talk about the importance of our, of our customers, your customers, all customers, not just grabbing something off the rack. Take, no, take yeah. the time. Yeah. Uh, Ping's been custom fitting since the 60s. Putter fitting for us is a big deal, right? Yeah. So uh, it's as simple as length. Getting correctly fit for your length will go a long ways into correcting uh, tendencies you might have in your stroke. We have different um, stroke types, straight, slight, strong. That is all in an essence to try to minimize and correct your tendencies. Basically leaning into what you do, mm -hmm. let's give you a putter that performs the best for that specific. If you're a straight back, straight through, or a very arcing putter, we have models specifically designed for your stroke. And so we very much value getting fit for your putter. Uh, it's one of the easiest things to do, but the last thing people typically think about when they go get fit. So yeah. um, everyone stay at the driver, right? Get fit for the right shaft, the right loft combination. We very much value getting fit for the right model, stroke type, length, lie, even loft. Yeah. Uh, it's all there, so. Uh, busy time for you. I can't yeah. thank you enough yes, for thank taking you the time for, for us. Me. Yeah. And for all your fitting needs, make sure to visit any of our retail locations or worldwidegolf.com. <laughs>